Hi everyone. Uh, in this short video, I want to introduce a very important free WordPress plugin. Yeah, if you if you are designing or if you are owning a WooCommerce online store, then it is important that you use this plugin. Yes, whenever you shop in an online e-commerce website, you will get a uh, invoice email for uh, for order completion of payments completion of order yeah three one or more emails for every order uh, in in that uh, email invoice they will attach a PDF invoice yeah you can download the PDF invoice uh, you can print it out yeah, that's a general practice. Yeah, it is not a mandatory. You don't have to add PDF invoice in those emails, transaction emails, but it's like a, yeah, some, some sort of uh, practice, common practice. So, uh, if you want to, yeah, uh, send PDF invoices, invoices, then this plugin is for you. This is very uh, good high rating. Uh, it has more than 200,000 uh, installations. Uh, out of yeah, 146 ratings, it has five star ratings for 126. So it is very good high rating. Uh, it features main features automatically at this invoice PDF to commerce emails for your choice, download PDF invoice, packing slips from the other admin page, generate PDF invoice and packing slips in bulk, fully customizable, high CML and CSS invoice templates, download invoice. This is a very comprehensive uh, PDF invoice plugin for yeah, WooCommerce website. Here, let's go to the settings. How do you want to view the PDF? Those PDF invoice, do you want to open a new browser or do you want to download? It's your choice. Simple, yeah. By default, it is simple template. Uh, they are saying that you can copy the template with simple file to the style team and customize them. But yeah. Customization is supposed to, uh, you have the knowledge of uh, CSS and HTML. Uh, paper size, there are two paper size, letter and F4. F4 is a uh, international standard for almost all uh, invoices. So keep the default F4. Extended currency symbol support, enable of your currency symbol not displaying properly. Okay. Enable for substituting. Okay, now it's logo. You have to add logo in your uh, invoice. You can upload it. You can select the logo like this. You can adjust logo head. You can enter shop name, shop address, and footer terms and condition policy. You can add and if you have uh, want to add extra fields here more than three extra fields available you can set the changes this is general settings in the documents yeah enable invoice pdf invoice enable by default okay and you want to attach this pdf invoice to in what types of emails new order I mean email cancel order fail order Order on hold, processing order, completed order, refunded order, customer invoice order, digital manual email, customer note. Yeah. New order or completed order, you can choose, you know, or you can add PDF invoice in every uh, types of uh, this uh, invoice uh, emails. Uh, it's your choice. Disable for uh, yeah, disable for pending payment on hold or yeah, fail. You can choose. 
there is no mandatory process in any international convention about this PDF invoice. It's like a sort of yeah common practice. So you can check out in other e-commerce websites what are they doing. Uh, you can refer to it. Display shipping address by default is no. Only when a different from billing address always uh, display shipping address you can uh, yeah. No display email address, phone number, display invoice debt, invoice debt, other debt, display invoice number, invoice number, order number, invoice number, okay, invoice debt, okay. Num prefix suffix padding in the invoice number yeah you can let the default you reset invoice number early yeah you'll be good or not if you want consider yeah sequence cell numbers throughout throughout the years then you don't have to reset but if you have to reset early you can choose this option hello my icon invoice download yeah you can let them download the invoice from your my account page. Enable invoice number column in order list. Disable free orders. Yeah, you can disable invoice for free orders. This is no jam. Yeah, this is not important. You can choose or you can or choose not. Yeah, this does not affect much in your practice. Yeah. In your website, the status. Here in the documents, this is for invoice. There are packing slip. Yeah, there is also packing slip setting here. In um, display billing address, display email address, phone number. Yeah. For those things, these things, you can refer to other e-commerce website, major e-commerce website. What they are doing, you can imitate them according to the yeah general practice of your reason yeah. there is not much changes you need to do here yeah general setting and document settings this all important thing you did need to do you can leave everything by default yeah but you you have to you have to do you have to upload the logo shop name shop address these three things you have to do others you can leave um, the default settings if you do not uh, how to choose the settings it's not important so yeah you only the things you need to do is upload the logo shop name shop address then you are done and you can make the changes according to the scenario, according to the circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah. If you are a pro user, meaning you have an old user, you have you have been using WooCommerce for yeah for years, then you must be familiar with this plugin. But if you're a newcomer, you have been new to WooCommerce website, WooCommerce online store, you want to uh, you use us have a WooCommerce store or you just want to own a design a WooCommerce website and this plugin is for you. Yeah. Uh, it is important that you use this plugin for e PDF invoices. As I mentioned before, it is not mandatory to have PDF invoices but it's like sort of yeah general common practice for e um, for e-commerce websites to attach a, a pdf invoice thanks for watching again i hope this video is helpful to you mainly for those beginners and if you find this video helpful please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel if you have not and click on the bell icon so that you can get the latest updates and i will be uploading one or more videos every day about the yeah Mainly, uh, WordPress, page builders, plugins, and themes. Uh, yeah, yeah, the bad news is that 
Now people uh, give less importance to teams more and more because of the yeah, prominence of uh, base builders like e-commerce, uh, uh, Elementor, Oxygen, Breezy, DV. So people are getting um, or teams are getting less uh, less attention. And that's why you will find many videos about teams more about base builders and plugins more. Yeah. Like main focus of WordPress is going in the direction of PS builders and plugins are like yeah supporters extensions of these PS builders. So yeah. In the following years main focus will be in the PS builders. If you have not learned any PS builders, then you have to start learning PS builders because if you want to design uh, CMS uh, design your website in, 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 in any content management system fast and professional then you have to learn uh, page builders it may be for wordpress joomla drupal or any other page builders now general trend is set uh, on page builders both uh, uh, in joomla or wordpress they have page builders now most yeah instead of yeah developing themes or templates for Joomla uh, now uh, developers are focusing on starting on page builders even the customers too like us we want page builders we want to design a uh, like professional and fast website with page builders that's the point so if you have not learned any start learning page builders thanks for watching and